All right, hello guys and welcome to my welcome to another video on Filmora. This is Jonathan from Technical Linkers here to empower your inner creativity. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share the video if you found this helpful. Okay, so now into Filmora today, I'm going to teach you. Uh, a lot of you has been requesting me for for you to for me to create uh, PowerPoint slides and how to add the slides into Filmora Wondershare Filmora. So in a few minutes, I'm going to show you. Okay, so first you fire up Filmora, and so now you want to add the video into into your uh, well into your into Filmora. You let's say you've recorded from Zoom, you've recorded it from anyway. So now I'm just going to drag from my local file to my video, and I'm going to well uh, drag it to my timeline. And so now I want to set slide. Uh, let's say I want to add the slides uh, maybe here, you know, somewhere here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to open up my PowerPoint presentation and I want to add transitions. Let's say I've added transitions, you know, so I've added this, you know, I want to maintain all these transitions. Now, in a moment, I'm going to show you how to do it. First, uh, you will need to take, cap you need to screenshot the photos uh, of your uh, slides. So to do this, on Windows, control alternate print screen. All right. Then go to Word file, open your Word, uh, right click on to the here, and then you'll be able to see this paste. Or you can use control V, a shortcut on the keyboard. Now, uh, a lot of you has, uh, some of them has been just dragging, you know, con converting the PowerPoint into slideshows, you know, saving it as slideshows. Yes, of course, you can do that. But if you want a more effective way, this is what it's going to be. So uh, right click and save as picture. All right, so save wherever you want. Make sure it is in picture so that you do not, uh, it do not, does not uh, stick, you know, together. So so you can actually import it to Filmora. So I'm just going to save it to my PC. Uh, maybe I'm going to save it to desktop. Okay, so I'm going to put a picture. So now you realize that uh, now I can be able to drag it. So picture one, where is it? Desktop, picture one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop. And I'm going to drag it over my timeline. So now you'll be seeing that I will be able to add the slides, All right? So I'll be able to add, I'll be able to drag, I'll be able to, you know, mark the apps. So, well, then I can double click on here, double click, right? Double click here, and I can uh, drag and drop, uh, drag the handle here. I can resize. I can put it, put the slides here, so, or I can put the slides uh, here. I can drag it here. So. You know, I can do all the settings. So if I don't want one, let's say I've screenshot the wrong one, I can just press delete, right, delete. So delete, and here you go, delete. So, sorry. Delete. Yeah. There you go. You just remove the, um, well, you know, the slide. So that's how you do it for Filmora. Uh, I'm not sure about others. And then if you want to add the transition, uh, if you want to maintain the transition, so what you're going to do is that you can add the transition by going to transition on your uh, left hand corner. And I can choose any transition I want. Uh, maybe I want, maybe this. Maybe, uh, you know, uh, maybe repo and dissolve. So I can see what I want. Maybe I want this. Dispersion blur. Yeah, so again, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to drag, use your right mouse, drag, and drop, right? Uh, left click, drag, and drop. And then I'll be able to drag wherever I want. It's the same thing that you can do on the video, the previous video that I show you on how to add animations in Filmora X, in Filmora 11, uh, X, right? Yeah, in Filmora. So yeah, you can see that I can drag to how many how much transition I want. So you can actually replicate uh, what you put in the slides in here, provided that they have the uh, transition, the name of the transition there. 
or else you can't uh, you can't import it's not what I know what I know of so I can just yeah so you can see the you can see that it's effect and then I can drag to how long I want so you can see the timeline here drag how long I want or I can push it back to well you know maybe 19 minutes 19 seconds 2 minutes 17 seconds or you want it to be 2 minutes 17 seconds you know so see how you want to play you can play around with it you can put it on the second timeline and so you'll be able to do it and yeah that's all and it's very easy for you to do so remember to try it out and don't forget to go back and try and have fun right thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoy my video right so see you guys bye bye